some way to get some big shots down the field. Second and six, Langen. Pocket starts to collapse. He's looking for Melton, and it's intercepted. Sean Wade batted it to himself, and he picks it off on the second play from scrimmage. Not every time can you have a grad transfer coming to Ohio State, but he has blended right in with this offensive line. And it's been an offensive line that's been blocking for this guy all year long, and they blocked for him there again as J.K. Dobbins takes it into the end zone for an 18-yard touchdown run. Devon has three sacks on this season. They've been playing extremely well in the interior of this front. Johnny Langan, this time able to complete it. And then a fumble at the end of it. Did Ohio State recover? Yes, they did. They have been extremely impressive. And now they're going for the end zone here, back to Victor. And they'll call it a touchdown. Benjamin Victor, his fifth of the season. Saw he had the touchdown last week against Maryland. And now it'll be Dobbins looking for his second score of the game. He's got it. J.K. Dobbins for the 13th time this year dances into the end zone for the Buckeyes. The numbers right there, ten and a half tackles for loss, four and a half sacks. Garrett Wilson coming up, and he lost it. And Rutgers taking advantage here. That went right through the hands of Garrett Wilson, and all of a sudden, Rutgers gets a break, and they have the ball in plus territory. As you mentioned, that wind is whipping around down there on the field. Well, they're not going to need about four down territory. Pacheco is in for the score. Those Buckeye stickers on your helmet, that means you're having a pretty good season. Justin Fields is having a good season, and so is that man, K.J. Hill. And this time, Fields is going for the end zone. He's got the end zone, and he's got Benjamin Victor for the second time in the first half. By Chris Olave. He's at 139 yards receiving as Olave. Fields looking for his tight end, Luke Farrell, and Luke Farrell has it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. The true tests are coming the next two weeks. Langen has it back in the air and intercepted. What a play by Kayvon Pope. Been bothering him since training camp. And... Chugging off, fires the touchdown to Jake Hausman. This kid's a stud. He's going to be a serious talent here. Of course, you can kind of fill in the blank with anybody on defense for Ohio State with that statement. Bo Melton adjusting. Bo Melton, 10-5 touchdown. That was pretty. Late substitutions there by Rutgers. They look a little out of sorts defensively. Swinging it out. And that's Jalen Gill, second catch of the game. And Jalen Gill all the way into the end zone as he drags Trey Avery for six. Young eight-year-old in camp. Langan trying to back his way in there. And with that second surge, the ball also popped free. Now, Ohio State's saying they have it, so a lot to think about here. Was he in? When did the ball come free? They're going to say Buckeye football. After review, the runner had control of the ball when it crossed the plane of the goal line. It is a Rutgers touchdown. So they do reverse the call. Johnny Langan is in, and Rutgers becomes just the second team to score 20 points on Ohio State this season. And after getting over 700 yards of offense a week ago, the Buckeyes today, 592 yards of offense. Dobbins and Fields did their thing, and the Buckeyes roll to a perfect 10-0.